72. Kevin, uh, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, sure. <laughs> uh, and, and don't forget to bring back the Swiss chalet, Joe. Yeah, please. Okay, so what we're doing here, I'm about to have Joe play a series of of rebounds. I I, I took the basic uh, Murray Spivak approach, the Richard Wilson approach to playing uh, page five of Stick Control, the drummer's Bible. And uh, so what we're doing is we're, we're we're playing these exercises. I'm I'm down at uh, at 9, 10, 11, and 12, which Dick Wilson would put a check mark next to because, oh, and as well as 13, because they all have, begins to introduce multiple rebounds in each hand. Okay, so I had Joe playing at 72. Uh, so this this is see we're just putting a little dot on the first note. And we're just getting three notes. Right? Let's see if I can do it with this hand. So once again, we're involving this. It's a three finger grip. And, and now we're taking advantage of the fulcrum that's in the hand. As I've discussed, the wrist joint is a fulcrum. The elbow joint, the anti-cubical fossa, is a fulcrum. The shoulder is a fulcrum. The human body is a simple machine made out of levers. Right. OK, so now we don't just have the wrist fulcrum. Now we have the fulcrum that exists in the hand and we get that teeter totter effect. As we allow that stick to rock over, particularly thinking about the middle finger, but you're going to feel it move through all of those fingers. It's a three finger grip. There's a little space here. I think Freddie Gruber called it the sound chamber, which is cool, right? The stick is going to move through there as it rebounds, right? And and uh, and there there does there is a little follow through that happens. See, as opposed to just playing singles. Now, when we get to the surface, there's going to be a little bit of a follow through. see the stick moving through that little spot here between the thumb and the first finger that so-called sound chamber okay i've been padding for you but essentially um I, i'm just describing what hopefully by now you have a, an understanding of and uh right so we're, we're looking we're looking to let that stick move through that sound chamber, we have a three finger grip. We have the wrist fulcrum if, if we're not playing rebounds, right? But but now, now we're throwing and using the momentum of the throw and we're feeling the stick move through that three finger area. <laughs> 